everybody. Today we're going to talk about that burning question that everybody has. Can we use AI to help with research? How about editing our work? The answers are yes, but there are some other things that you need to consider when using AI. I put this uh, screen grab here. New York lawyers caught sanctioned for using fake chat GPT cases in a legal brief. All right. You don't want to be like those people. Never, ever, ever copy and paste your research from AI. Do your own work. Ask AI simple questions. For example, my dissertation topic explores the perspectives of learning and training practitioners on gamification. What theoretical framework should I consider? And then AI will give you some suggestions. All right. It's up to you to go through those suggestions, find your own sources, and find one that fits you best. If none of these fits you best, then maybe you should tell AI what your niche is as well. So let's use SDT, self-determination theory. I chose to search for articles since 2023 because I want the most recent research. And I thought that since it's early in 2024, that would be too limiting. So choosing 2023, I searched in Google Scholar for self-determination theory and gamification. I got a whole list, uh, 17,200 articles. All right. So you'll read through those, you'll save your sources, and then you'll write your theoretical frameworks paragraph. Now, note this paragraph has terrible grammar. So I took this terrible paragraph and I pasted it in my AI and I asked AI to revise it for clarity in academic writing. And AI returned this nice little paragraph. Okay. Because I wrote this paragraph, AI used my writing as a revision. So now I need to go back in and I need to add my citations. Where did I find this information about intrinsic and extri extrinsic motiv motivators? <laughs> okay, you need to go find the article where, where you found that information, or I would need to do that in this case. And then this sentence here, uh, resulting in enhanced learning outcomes, that was in an article that I read, so I need to cite that source. And then I would need to cite that source, okay? So I'm taking what AI gave me as my four theoretical frameworks. I chose one of them. I researched that one thoroughly. And then I wrote a paragraph. I sent that paragraph to AI for revision. And now I have to go back in. And because I did not include my citations in the original paragraph, I have to put them in this new paragraph. So your research questions, right? You also have to have a research question and it has to align with your topic. Qualitative research questions will gather in-depth insights and explore new ideas. They do not quantify data. They do not test a hypothesis. Quantitative questions seek to clarify data, measure trends and test hypotheses. My dissertation topic explores the perspectives of learning and training practitioners on gamification really good qualitative research question that aligns perfectly with that topic is what are the perspectives of learning and training practitioners in gamification? You see the alignment there? Okay, so again, ask AI simple questions. Taking your topic, you can ask AI to help you with the problem. And AI will give you what it thinks is the problem. Now it's up to you to dissect what AI gives you and do the research. AI claims there's a lack of comprehensive understanding, there's limited research, there's a knowledge gap, and AI suggests how you might address this knowledge gap. So you need to take those bits and pieces that AI gave you, and you need to tailor the pro problem statement to your industry or niche, okay? Is there limited research available? How do you know? When you do your Google Scholar search, make sure to include your niche in your search. If this problem has been researched thoroughly, then what is the gap? What are you hoping to solve? As you write your own problem, cite your sources. Name the gap your study will fill. 
ensure that you have alignment with your topic, okay? If your topic says you're going to do this one thing, then don't do something else with your problem. For this particular study was the IT industry. And so the specific business problem facing the IT industry is that a significant number of employees have rejected traditional types of training strategies, leading to unmet needs and a pool of employees with limited experience. And I've cited my sources. The gap in practice sends, stems from the underutilization of gamification for training in the IT industry. You see how my problem statement is vastly different from the one that my AI suggested for me. However, it does have some of the same components which are highlighted in yellow. Wrapping this up, yes, 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 please use AI to edit your writing. Yes, you can use AI to revise paragraphs that you write. Yes, you can use AI to brainstorm ideas. And yes, you can use AI to help you with your research. Yes, do your own research using Google Scholar. Google Scholar is really a type of AI too, right? Okay, do not copy and paste from AI. The only exception to this rule is if you've asked AI to edit a paragraph that you have, okay? Do not copy paste from AI. Do not use links from AI. Locate your own DOIs. Um, why do I stress this? Well, for two reasons. Because typically I get papers back and the DOI links do not work. That's because AI has hallucinations and they give you links that just don't exist. Okay, if you like something that AI has given you, go out and find your own information and locate your own DOIs and use those in your writing. Do your own work. That is the most important thing here. AI is not getting the degree. You are getting the degree. So you need to put on your doctoral caps and do your own work. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in class.